there folks, Gareth here, and this has just arrived. It's the Vita Stick 2. I am genuinely curious as to how this is going to work. I don't exactly know the science behind it, but it just sounds like, like so much magic. I have to give it a go. This tracks 26 vitamins and minerals. It's a pen that you touch to your finger and it tells you what you're lacking in. That's wizardry right there. See? Look, look, that's what they're doing. That's, how does that work? That's potentially crazy. Okay, so th this is actually the, Vis the Vita Stick 2, so there has been a, a one previously, uh, which obviously connects to your phone via a 3.5mm headphone connector. Um, and this is the Bluetooth version. Then there's a family one as well. This one is about 80 euros, and this is 130 euros. Changing that to pounds is scary. Uh, so this tracks your vitamin and mineral trend, offers personalized nutrition tips, shows the history of previous readings, ease of use, and based on EVA methodology. Works on Android and iOS. Launched in 2014 uh, by Indiegogo, so it's a, it's a fan-backed thing. Uh, three products available, three CSA awards for best user experience, recognized by the Google Campus Warsaw, and distributors on five continents getting ready to release the Stick Pro device later on this year. Okay, so yeah, well done to them for getting it going uh, through Indiegogo and uh, hopefully we'll find it as easy to use as all these other folks. Initially it's really nicely presented, it's a beautiful box, uh, but that's hardly uh, the biggest Compliment to them. Uh, Vita stick. Okay, so there is something in here, and it feels like a little bag or something like that for you to keep it in. There we go, Vita stick. Throw it in there and and take it on the go with you. That's a little magnetic clasp. It's a nice touch. It's. I, I'm guessing you use this more than once a day, perhaps, or it's something that maybe you take with you on holiday. Getting started, download the app to your smartphone. Make sure Bluetooth, Bluetooth is enabled on your smartphone. Press the tip of the device to activate it. Start the application. Okay. And then the QR code goes there, which I have on a separate piece of paper. Okay, so here we have the quick start guide. Log in with Google, Facebook, or email. Set it up. Connect your device. Have any questions? Beep, bop, bop. We have to prepare it by dipping it in water, is that? H2O, yeah calibrate and get your readings. Okay, and then there's uh, warranty type information, precautions, maintenance, declaration of conformity, uh, warranty, and a charge cable or just I suppose backup um, for whenever the batteries die off. It'd be interesting to see how long the batteries actually last. Um, if you were able to just throw this in that and take it away on holiday with you, that would be great. But obviously this connects to that. And there we go. Right, so we have Vita Stick here. And there's a little hole there that might be a speaker or a microphone or something to let you know that it's connected successfully or, or what have you. But that's it. It's, a, it's an aluminium uh, tube. Your smart device for vital advice. It's a catchy little ditty there. And then all the action happens here, at the front, where you touch it to parts of your finger. And then this charges up. Oh yeah, okay, so that doesn't connect to your phone at all, that's just for charging this. Right, okay, got you now. See how that works. And then it connects by Bluetooth. So, let's uh, take our time and get this connected up. Okay, so first off we have the application here. Uh, it's got a rating of three stars uh, by 117 people. It's been downloaded 5,000 times. And lots of people facing registration problems. It's a toy for kids. Tried it three times in a row. Gave me huge varying results. Okay, so it's possible people may not have set it up correctly, but that's what we're here to evaluate. Right, okay, so the world's first device for checking your vitamin and mineral status but using a smartphone. Vita Stick provides insight into vitamins and mineral levels and individual advice. 
on how to improve your vitality with the right choice of nutrients. I'm quite nervous about um, <laughs> trying this and exposing my results on camera. I don't think I'm particularly unhealthy, so well, we'll see. All right, we get to sign in here. Okay, so we've been through all of these methods of communication. I'm going to have to go and check my network to see if it's working okay, because Google's not working, Facebook isn't working, and uh, registration via email doesn't seem to be connecting. Perhaps it's just my device, so we need to go and investigate that. So here we are a few hours later, and we've managed to log in. Uh, I contacted the VR company and they just said that they were switching servers. It was very unfortunate at the time that I happened to be doing it, that sort of thing. But it was lightning fast this morning and all good. Alright, so we can set up a... Oops. Oh no, where's everything going? Uh, we can set up profile, uh, template, history, settings and tutorials. So we'll go for the profile. Go for me. Template, Essentials, Advanced, Total Care, Add New. Go just go with Essentials. History, we haven't done anything yet. Settings. Next point, Vibration Off, Sounds for... Well, we'll turn Sounds On, why not? Oh. It's got very tiny little buttons. And we'll turn Vibration On as well. Language. So we hit Start. No... Press the tip of your vista. Ah, there we go. We pressed it and it popped up. And we'll scan our little QR code that was sent to us. On an Nexus 6 that can take some time. Okay, so that's our device registered. That was very simple. Right, so we'll just have to follow the instructions of what it asks us to do to calibrate. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be pushing it all the way down. Oh my, <laughs> this is getting a bit depressing already. Okie dokie. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> right. So we're very low in most things. Low in biotin, good in vitamin C, low in magnesium, good in vitamin B1, mild in vitamin B2, good in zinc, selenium, okay, mild in that, uh, low in vitamin B6, and low in vi vitamin E, and mild in folic acid. Right, so now we know what to do. Oops. What, what what do we do? So, uh, vitamin B7 is one of eight vitamins that make up the B vitamin com complex. The all B vitamins are water soluble, which means, okay, so it gives you a rundown of what each of these are and compares. So I'm guessing the, the fourth dot there is for, I wonder if it's too good or if it's very good. So we have uh, folic acid there showing as mild. So it, it appears I need to be taking some form of multivitamin to be able to get my levels back up again. And I'm, I'm guessing that's about it really. That's what it does. Stick this on your finger, maybe every day. I'll go out and get some multivitamins today. I wonder if I could even show this to someone in 
Russell and Hobbs or Holland and Barrett, that's the one, uh, and get them to give me whatever it is I need to pet me up because obviously some of these I don't need. Okay, that's essentials. We'll go to advanced and see what happens there. Or total care. Okay, so we're going on total care this time just to be thorough. Seriously? Oh. Okay, so now we're dressed again. Um, some of your most recent readings are differ greatly from previous ones. We suggest you repeat the process again. I'm not going to do that, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, for some reason I'm good for a few things, and then we're going to high for various things like vitamin A and vitamin B12. So what we can do is we can go away and look at these things that are in the red, and decide on how to make changes in our diets or get supplements to take things up a little higher. Nothing was reading as too low this time at all. So it just appears I'm getting too much vitamin C from whatever it is I happen to be drinking that has vitamin C in it. Orange juice? Haven't had any of that in a while. So, uh, yeah. I do wonder how accurate this can possibly be. I noticed that whenever I was pressing it, if I turned it a little, it would go up a little further. Um, but my wife is the, the fitness expert, so what I'll do is I will take it and give it to her. Give it a wash first. And then give it to her and she can start using it and see how she is, because she's very much into her health food, very health food conscious. So yeah, that's the Vitastick. Check back on techaddicts.uk in the near future, where we should have some kind of uh, written assessment of just how well this vitamin detector stick with Bluetooth input with Bluetooth inbuilt changes your life. Could it change your life? Is it the sort of thing that you want to know? Let me know below if, if this is of interest to you. I Personally I can't see the demand for it but uh, I, I guess for them to have released a second and a newer upgraded version means that there is some form of demand for it because the company's still going and still going strong. So yeah, uh, it's well made, it looks nice, it might be a little cumbersome perhaps. That's the Vita stick in a nutshell. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care now.